Today in the news, we got some NVIDIA, AMD, and Windows on ARM. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with NVIDIA. Yesterday, the company f***ed up. They did something dumb and are being called out for it by everyone in the community. What did they do? Well, they just banned Hardware Unboxed from receiving review samples of their Founders Edition cards. Why? Well, because Hardware Unboxed focuses too much on rasterized performance and isn't showcasing other technologies, aka ray tracing, DLSS, the NVENC encoder, and video broadcast, and all those. Now, you can watch the WAN show linked down below where Linus really goes in on NVIDIA, but honestly, this feels more like a personal attack on Hardware Unboxed than anything else. As far as I know, they usually test rasterized performance on the review and do follow-up content for DLSS and ray tracing. On the last generation, they even tested streaming quality of NVENC on the 2000 series, and I bet they were planning something similar for the 3000 series of GPUs. Then, NVIDIA added that if Hardware Unboxed changes their editorial direction, then maybe they will revisit the decision, which is insane to me since they cover pretty much all of NVIDIA's features. The company did say that Hardware Unboxed can request review samples from add and board partners, but one, AIBs still have to send NVIDIA a list of who they send review samples to, and two, Review embargoes for custom cards are often a couple of days after the embargo for Founders Editions. This would make Hardware Unboxed unable to make launch day content. Moving on, let's talk ASRock. It looks like the company is dead set on making AMD very, very mad. Before the launch of their Ryzen 5000 line of CPUs, AMD was very clear that they had no plans to support 300 series motherboards. Well, leave it up to ASRock, or at least people who tinker with ASRock products, to open that can of worms. This was spotted by Komachi and Saka over on Twitter, and shows an X370 motherboard BIOS for Fatality and Tai Chi ASRock motherboards that support Vermeer aka Ryzen 5000. Now while it's available to download, I wouldn't recommend doing so. Sure, it is compatible with ASRock boards, but it's unclear if this alpha BIOS actually came from ASRock or is simply a modded one. This comes about a month after an A320 motherboard from ASRock once again was spotted running a 5900X. That's pretty impressive. Then in gaming news, we got Cyberpunk 2077, the most anticipated game of 2020 and the biggest launch. And while the game is being praised, it unfortunately comes with a ton of problems. First, the PS4 version of the game is absolute garbage, running anywhere from 15 to 20 FPS in several portions of the game. Many are reporting quest bugs, texture problems, the population AI is garbage in my opinion, and some are reporting peckers and tatas clipping through the player models. Seriously. Thankfully though, it's a video game and CDPR is already releasing updates to mitigate some of the problems. Did you buy the game? Let me know if you like it down below. Then circling back to Nvidia, if you had any doubt that they would release a 3080 Ti, well, we got even more confirmation. HP's OEM drivers confirmed a slew of different GPUs incoming from the company. There's the 3080 Ti, of course, but also a couple of mobile RTX GPUs. There's a 3070 Ti, a six gigabyte RTX 3060, and a 12 gigabyte RTX 3060. Yep, looks like that one is real. Not only that, but another company has also leaked these. Ada64 just updated their beta, and the release notes also feature all of those GPUs, including a 16 gigabyte mobile version of the RTX 3070. This means the rumors of the 16 gigabyte RTX 3070 for desktop is probably real. Lastly, we got some Microsoft news. The company finally released its first preview for X64 emulation on ARM. What does that mean? Well, all of those Windows on ARM devices like the Surface Go, Laptop Go, Pro X, Galaxy Book S, or any laptops that use ARM processors and the operating system Windows 10 on ARM can run previously incompatible apps. For some reason, the Microsoft blog post mentions uh, Rocket League by name. Unfortunately, I haven't seen anyone test games on the emulator just yet. I unfortunately don't have an ARM laptop with Windows, so I can't try it out. It is still emulation though, and previous attempts at it have yielded pretty medium results. If you have a Windows on ARM device, you just need to enable the Insider program and download the latest Windows 10 preview to test it out. 
All right, guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.